Listen and practice. The case of the curious cupcake caper. Beatrice Bloom, known to her friends as B, wasn't your typical 11-year-old. While most kids her age dreamt of pop stars and video games, B's mind buzzed with the thrill of mysteries and codes. Armed with her magnifying glass and trusty notebook, she saw clues in every fallen leaf and suspicious shadows in passing clouds. One sunny Saturday morning, her detective dreams collided with reality in the form of a missing cupcake. Not just any cupcake, mind you, but the prize-winning triple berry twister baked by her Aunt Millie, renowned for her culinary masterpieces. The evidence was clear. A half-eaten cupcake wrapper on the counter, a dusting of crumbs leading out the back door, and a whiff of strawberry sweetness mingling with the morning breeze. B, her detective spirit ignited, was on the case. Her first suspect? Whiskers, the neighbor's mischievous cat, known for his sticky paws and insatiable appetite. Armed with a saucer of tuna and a healthy dose of suspicion, B lured Whiskers closer. The feline, ever the cunning criminal, sniffed the fishy offer then sauntered away, leaving a smug smirk, or so B imagined, on his furry face. Undeterred, B pressed on. She interviewed the witnesses, the twittering sparrows who claimed to have seen something small and fluffy near the scene, the grumpy mailman who muttered about late-night snackers, and even the nosy Mrs. Peabody, who swore she saw a shadow leaving the garden gate. As clues piled up, a suspect emerged, Timmy Timmons, B's rival from down the street. He had a sweet tooth the size of Texas, and a reputation for mischief worse than whiskers. Armed with this deduction, B set a trap. Leaving a trail of flower footprints leading from the back door to Timmy's favorite treehouse, she waited, notebook in hand. The plan worked. Timmy, lured by the sugary trail, followed it straight to the treehouse, oblivious to Bee's watchful eyes. She confronted him, evidence laid out like a miniature crime scene. But to her surprise, Timmy denied everything. Instead, he revealed a shocking truth. He had seen whiskers scarfing down the cupcake with an accomplice, a rogue squirrel with a penchant for pastries. Together, B and Timmy joined forces. Using Timmy's slingshot and B's cunning traps, they cornered the cupcake culprits. After a hilarious chase through the garden, involving flying acorns and overturned flower pots, they retrieved the remaining triple berry twister crumbs. The case was solved, not with finger-pointing and accusations, but with teamwork and a shared love for adventure, and maybe a dash of sugar. Aunt Millie, impressed by Bee's sleuthing skills, even crowned her junior detective and baked her a special mystery muffin filled with hidden clues. As Bee savored the sweet reward, she knew this was just the beginning. With her magnifying glass at the ready and her friends by her side, she was ready to tackle any mystery that came her way, proving that even the smallest detective can solve the biggest cupcake capers. Repeat after me. Beatrice Bloom, known to her friends as B, wasn't your typical 11-year-old. Beatrice Bloom, known to her friends as B, wasn't your typical 11-year-old. Beatrice Bloom, known to her friends as B, wasn't your typical 11-year-old. While most kids her age dreamt of pop stars and video games, Bee's mind buzzed with the thrill of mysteries and codes. While most kids her age dreamt of pop stars and video games, Bee's mind buzzed with the thrill of mysteries and codes. While most kids her age dreamt of pop stars and video games, Bee's mind buzzed with the thrill of mysteries and codes. Armed with her magnifying glass and trusty notebook, she saw clues in every fallen leaf and suspicious shadows in passing clouds. 
armed with her magnifying glass and trusty notebook, she saw clues in every fallen leaf and suspicious shadows in passing clouds. Armed with her magnifying glass and trusty notebook, she saw clues in every fallen leaf and suspicious shadows in passing clouds. One sunny Saturday morning, her detective dreams collided with reality in the form of a missing cupcake. One sunny Saturday morning, her detective dreams collided with reality in the form of a missing cupcake. One sunny Saturday morning, her detective dreams collided with reality in the form of a missing cupcake. Not just any cupcake, mind you, but the prize-winning triple berry twister baked by her Aunt Millie, renowned for her culinary masterpieces. Not just any cupcake, mind you, but a prize-winning triple berry twister baked by her Aunt Millie, renowned for her culinary masterpieces. Not just any cupcake, mind you, but a prize-winning triple berry twister baked by her Aunt Millie, renowned for her culinary masterpieces. The evidence was clear: a half-eaten cupcake wrapper on the counter, a dusting of crumbs leading out the back door and a whiff of strawberry sweetness mingling with the morning breeze. The evidence was clear, a half-eaten cupcake wrapper on the counter, a dusting of crumbs leading out the back door, and a whiff of strawberry sweetness mingling with the morning breeze. The evidence was clear, a half-eaten cupcake wrapper on the counter, a dusting of crumbs leading out the back door, and a whiff of strawberry sweetness mingling with the morning breeze. Bay, her detective spirit ignited, was on the case. Bay, her detective spirit ignited, was on the case. Bay, her detective spirit ignited, was on the case. Her first suspect, Whiskers, the neighbor's mischievous cat. Known for his sticky paws and insatiable appetite. Her first suspect, Whiskers, the neighbor's mischievous cat, known for his sticky paws and insatiable appetite. Her first suspect, Whiskers, the neighbor's mischievous cat, known for his sticky paws and insatiable appetite. Armed with a saucer of tuna and a healthy dose of suspicion, be lured whiskers closer. Armed with a saucer of tuna and a healthy dose of suspicion, be lured whiskers closer. Armed with a saucer of tuna and a healthy dose of suspicion, be lured whiskers closer. The feline, ever the cunning criminal, sniffed the fishy offer then sauntered away, leaving a smug smirk or so be imagined on his furry face. The feline, ever the cunning criminal, sniffed the fish she offered and sauntered away, leaving a smug smirk where so be imagined on his furry face. The feline, ever the cunning criminal, sniffed the fish she offered and sauntered away, leaving a smug smirk where so be imagined on his furry face. Undeterred, be pressed on. Undeterred, be pressed on. Undeterred, be pressed on. She interviewed the witnesses, the twittering sparrows who claimed to have seen something small and fluffy near the scene, the grumpy mailman who muttered about late night snackers, and even the nosy Mrs. Peabody, who swore she saw a shadow leaving the garden gate. She interviewed the witnesses, the twittering sparrows who claimed to have seen something small and fluffy near the scene. The grumpy mailman who muttered about late night snackers, and even the nosy Mrs. Peabody, who swore she saw a shadow leaving the garden gate. She interviewed the witnesses, the twittering sparrows who claimed to have seen something small and fluffy near the scene, the grumpy mailman who muttered about late night snackers, and even the nosy Mrs. Peabody, who swore she saw a shadow leaving the garden gate. As clues piled up, 
A suspect emerged, Timmy Timmons, his rival from down the street. As clothes piled up, a suspect emerged, Timmy Timmons, his rival from down the street. As clothes piled up, a suspect emerged, Timmy Timmons, his rival from down the street. He had a sweet tooth, the size of taxes, and a reputation for mischief worse than whiskers. He had a sweet tooth, the size of taxes, and a reputation for mischief worse than whiskers. He had a sweet tooth, the size of taxes, and a reputation for mischief worse than whiskers. Armed with this deduction, be set a trap. Armed with this deduction, be set a trap. Armed with this deduction, be set a trap. Leaving a trail of flower footprints leading from the back door to Timmy's favorite tree house, she waited, notebook in hand. Leaving a trail of flower footprints leading from the back door to Timmy's favorite tree house, she waited, notebook in hand. Leaving a trail of flower footprints leading from the back door to Timmy's favorite tree house, she waited, notebook in hand. The plan worked. The plan worked. The plan worked. Timmy, lured by the sugary trail, followed his tray to the treehouse, oblivious to Boo's watchful eyes. Timmy, lured by the sugary trail, followed his tray to the treehouse, oblivious to Boo's watchful eyes. Timmy. Lured by the sugary trail, followed it straight to the treehouse, oblivious to Bee's watchful eyes. She confronted him, evidence laid out like a miniature crime scene. She confronted him, evidence laid out like a miniature crime scene. She confronted him, evidence laid out like a miniature crime scene. But to her surprise, Timmy denied everything. But to her surprise, Timmy denied everything. But to her surprise, Timmy denied everything. Instead, he revealed the shocking truth. He had seen Whiskers scarfing down the cupcake with an accomplice, a rogue squirrel with a penchant for pastries. Instead, he revealed the shocking truth. He had seen Whisper scarfing down the cupcake with an accomplice, a rogue squirrel with a penchant for pastries. Instead, he revealed a shocking truth. He had seen Whisker scarfing down the cupcake with an accomplice, a rogue squirrel with a penchant for pastries. Together, B and Timmy joined forces. Together, B and Timmy joined forces. Together, B and Timmy joined forces. Using Timmy's slingshot and B's cunning traps, they cornered the cupcake culprit. Using Timmy's slingshot and B's cunning traps, they cornered the cupcake culprit. Using Timmy's slingshot and B's cunning traps, they cornered the cupcake culprit. After a hilarious chase through the garden, Involving flying acorns and overturned flower pots, they retrieved the remaining triple berry twister crumbs. After a hilarious chase through the garden, involving flying acorns and overturned flower pots, they retrieved the remaining triple berry twister crumbs. After a hilarious chase through the garden, involving flying acorns and overturned flower pots, they retrieved the remaining triple berry twister crumbs. The case was solved, not with finger pointing and accusations, but with teamwork and a shared love for adventure and maybe a dash of sugar. The case was solved, not with finger pointing and accusations, but with teamwork and a shared love for adventure and maybe a dash of sugar. The case was solved. Not with finger pointing and accusations, but with teamwork and a shared love for adventure and maybe a dash of sugar. 
and Melly, impressed by Bee's sleuthing skills, even crowned her junior detective and baked her a special mystery muffin filled with hidden clues. And Melly, impressed by Bee's sleuthing skills, even crowned her junior detective and baked her a special mystery muffin filled with hidden clues. And Melly, impressed by Bee's sleuthing skills, even crowned her junior detective and baked her a special mystery muffin filled with hidden clues. As Bee savored the sweet reward, she knew this was just the beginning. As Bee savored the sweet reward, she knew this was just the beginning. As Bee savored the sweet reward, she knew this was just the beginning. With her magnifying glass at the ready and her friends by her side, she was ready to tackle any mystery that came her way, proving that even the smallest detective can solve the biggest cupcake capers. With her magnifying glass at the ready and her friends by her side, she was ready to tackle any mystery that came her way, proving that even the smallest detective can solve the biggest cupcake capers. With her magnifying glass at the ready and her friends by her side, she was ready to tackle any mystery that came her way, proving that even the smallest detective can solve the biggest cupcake capers.